Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and the bombshell former president Donald Trump just dropped. Well, that could be the end of President Joe Biden. We're going to get to that clip in just a second, but before we do, I want to implore you to please like and share this video more than anything else. That really helps us so much. And of course, leave comments and subscribe because those little things really help as well. President Trump was stumping in Iowa yesterday after the horrific Hamas attacks on Israel. And horrific is really the only word I can use to describe them. And he talked about how his administration handled Hamas, handled the Palestinian territory, and handled Israel. And what he said was there was zero chance that this would happen during his administration as he laid out the incompetence of the Biden administration. Let's take a look. That must and will be crushed has to be, it has to be dealt with very powerfully. This is a time where the United States needs leadership. We don't have leadership. But Israel is at war, and the United States obviously is going to stick with Israel, and strongly. The war happened for two reasons. The United States is giving and gave to Iran six billion dollars, six billion, over, over hostages over hostages and uh, you know there was a very good trade they got five hostages we got five hostages okay that's the good news the bad news is and their hostages were tough by the way i have to tell you that was okay let's assume they're doing just fine but it was five for five but in addition to that we agreed to free up six billion dollars and uh that is a absolute disaster and I would not be at all surprised if part of that tremendous wealth that they just accumulated went into all of a sudden watching this level of aggression. They didn't have that level of aggression with me. They didn't have it. This would have never happened with me either. You know what wouldn't have happened? Ukraine wouldn't have happened. Taiwan and all this tough talk with Taiwan wouldn't have happened. And what's going on with Israel right now? People were shocked. I wasn't shocked because two weeks ago we gave a $6 billion. Think of it. So we get five, they get five. But the difference is we have to give six billion. Six billion. Does anyone know what a billion is? Six billion dollars. It's like it's water. And we have now our country is a perceived. You know, it's, we're we're really a country that's looked at with this tremendous perceived weakness with a grossly incompetent and corrupt president. He's a he's an incompetent man. Now the former president was spot on when you have a leader that the world respects even fears, then you have something. But when you have a leader that nobody respects, nobody fears, you have nothing. When you capitulate to terrorist states, state sponsors of terror, terrorist organizations, when you give them money to get hostages back, when you do things like that, you show weakness, you embolden them. That is what I believe has happened here. Terrorist organizations, terrorist states, and rogue regimes have been emboldened by a weak administration, and we need them out of the White House in 2024 if we want to restore order to the rest of the world and to the United States. Folks, I want to know what you think about this story, so please leave that in the comments. Also, again, please remember to like, share, and subscribe because it does really help us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.